Oh. Is that a freaking monkey? Oh my god, yes it is. Oh, firecrackers. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, that's, this is the upgraded version of the firecrackers. Yeah. Should I backstab the monkey? Sure, if you can get one off. Oh god! Oh. Oh. These things are really cool. Yeah. these, uh, I don't know if that's hay or, or what, but a lot of those things along the way as well, but just like bigger and smaller and little things hanging down. There's like something very religious going on here or spiritual. Yeah. Wow, that is pretty. Yes. Another blue spirit. Wonder mm. if I should use it again near that uh, uh, praying woman. With that helper. No, I don't think so. Oh, hey. My God, you're getting so many freaking statues. Yeah. Don't quite have a skill point. Let's get some spirit emblems. Let's not get some spirit emblems. Why? I have two hundred twenty. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Oh no. Oh wow, that's a hell oh, of a ravine. No. Hey, there's another. I can see another one down there. Another sculpture. Huh. You see it? Yeah. Good God. It's a great view from up here. Hmm. I guess I'll rest, get my health back a little bit. Yeah. Oh, can you crawl underneath the house? I don't think so. I think it's just closed off everywhere. Okay. Yeah, I've been looking at that. It seems to be closed off. I can make it, right? Maybe from the top of the building. <laughs> Yeah. I'm too scared to try it not from the top of the building. Oh my god. Another eel liver. The ground is weirdly, like, porous. Oh, yeah. I think it's because the sun's at such an extreme angle, too. It makes it look weird. Mm. Looks... Looks like pitted concrete. Yeah. I wonder if I could survive that fall. I'm not going to do it. But I know you can fall a long distance and only take a little damage. Well, fuck it. Try it. <laughs> nah. Actually, you could probably revive, even if you didn't survive it, right? No, let's get there naturally. Oh, I'm about to go down there anyway. I'm like, why all these 
statues, you know? Yeah. Being very generous with them. I was just thinking, should I actually wait until two people are sick? Because my unseen aid's at 15% instead of 30. Yeah. Maybe I should just use it. Yes. Yeah. Plus, it's the feminist thing they do. Yeah. Do you think I'm going to encounter the snake again down here? So this is the place kind of where it hung out. Can we apologize to the snake? <laughs> We're sorry we stepperonied your eye. Yes. We're probably gonna have to do it again, though. Can you befriend the snake? Sunken Valley. Hello. You are gonna shoot something at me, aren't you? What is that? Whoa. That seems like a very serious gun. Yeah. Sounds like a cannon. I'm just looking at those trees over there. Looks like you might be able to, like, leapfrog them all the way up. Or all the way down. I don't know. Anyway. Sunken Valley. Why does that sound so similar to a DLC for Dark Souls 2? I think there was, like, a the Sunken Crown or something like that. Yeah. Alright. Here we go. I think out of all the things to compare to Dark Souls... You need to talk in the microphone more. I think out of all the things to compare to in Dark Souls, one word in a DLC title <laughs> is, <laughs> like, really, really picking them nits. It has one word in common. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got a skill point. Did I spend one skill point on anything, though? Nah. I don't think so. Yeah, I think I'm at two as a minimum now. Mm. Oh. Yeah, there's other platforms over there. I don't know if I can get to them now, though. God, I'm literally, like, dying over how huge all the things we can explore right now are. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I can get over there right now. I think I gotta go inside and then come out over there. These are the same sorts of people like the one that was launching huge explosions at me. Oh, yeah. Way back when? They definitely have different guns, though. The other one was literally exploding. This is more like a gun than a cannon. Yeah. But they're the same people. Bandaged up. I super want to make sure I don't miss anything. I just don't know where forwards is and where sideways is. Yeah. Oh, look at that ice. <gasps> oh my god, we have icicle technology. That's gorgeous. Ah. Oh. I'll be fine. I'll come back. a strong fucking kick. Yeah, and I deflected it. That's my good gamer wife. 
This view. That was my, oh my God, this view voice. This view. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good view, though. Yeah. It's real pretty. Kind of like my wife. Mm -hmm. It's called the Sunken Valley. I wonder if we'll find our way to the valley floor. Hmm. You go to the valley floor and it's just a, uh, the Sunken Crown DLC. <laughs> So these are like, I think, I think these are like completely separate people living Gortied. in the valley. Oh. Because they don't feel in any way associated with like, Genichiro and Ishinashina. Yeah. They're just, you know. I guess they just like, they're like mountain people. They like yeah. live in the mountains. Because this looks like a place they live. Just living in their own gun commune. Covered in bandages and shooting strangers. <laughs> yeah. The Republican dream. Yellow gunpowder. Huh? Maybe that's like a higher tier crafting ingredient, like Titanite slab kind of thing. Ooh. Amber colored grains forming the base for powerful gunpowder, a precious commodity only found in the sunken valley. Mm. Used for explosive prosthetic tool upgrades of intermediate and higher rank. The yield from yellow powder is greater than that of black, lending the valley stronghold defenses their fiery vigor. Do you want to gently blow that out? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad I went up here. This is a total side area. I had a freaking gourd seed. Yeah. Let me get those sun rays through that bun. <laughs> it's not really a bun as much as it is like a... It's like a, if you like bundle a bunch of sticks together. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where was I going? I think... I don't... I don't remember. I was going down somewhere. Baby, are oh, you down, over here. down, 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 Do you know if I've missed any other pathways? I think this is it. No, I have no idea. I'm sorry. I'm like... It's okay. If there's like more than two paths, and one of the paths doesn't immediately end, I like have anxiety. Mm hmm. Hey, Gecky. Gecko! No! Oh, just went down <sighs> there. That'd be a weird defense mechanism if it just <laughs> fell to the valley floor and splat. You know that vine of a bear and it's like crossing the river and then disappears from view and then it's just like it appears again lower down the river? Is No. No, I don't think I've seen that one, but that made me think of the one where there's like a... Uh, wasn't there a, a somebody like screaming at a bear that it like needs help, that was going to die or something? It was just like crossing a river? I feel like we're talking about the same vine. Maybe it is it. Anyway, I think I have to kill this Geki. Oh. Chat, press F for the Geki. Hmm. No. No. That cold wind. You what if it's snake? Yes. Okay, it's not. I'm just thinking of the song Valley by Leprous right now. I don't know why, it just made me think of it. I don't have anything to say because I have no idea what that <laughs> song is. <laughs> it's a really good song if people like uh like prog metal. Check it out. Valley by Leprous. Check it out. Oh god, what was that? Oh wow, they have a huge fucking gun! Wow, they're just like a whole, like, gun people. That's like their thing. Yeah. Another... Oh, fucking hell. Idol. Oh, 
Ugh. Oh, I just did a follow-up attack. I didn't even remember that. Oh. That dude is hard. Yeah. I'm gonna go for the other one, actually. Yeah. We're gonna go off the edge. It's like a shotgun. Yeah. Two skill points, I can do something with that. So if I rest right here, are they just gonna like pop up right behind me? I guess. Yeah. Oh. Oh. You wanna talk? Aren't you one of the assassins? Looks like they're napping. Huh. Oh. Maybe oh. they're wounded. Hmm, <laughs> maybe. Scrap magnetite. Uh, magnetic ore mined in Hashina, base material commonly used in prosthetic tool upgrades of intermediate and higher rank. Forging with magnetite produces a hard steel, a precious commodity in Hashina. Bedrock offering up this ore is constantly mined out, making it a rare one at that. Okay, this has got me worried. I'm getting these higher tier crafting ingredients when I haven't even scratched the surface of the lower tier stuff. You think this is a higher tier area? These enemies don't seem like it though, like they seem reasonable. Maybe you're just really good at video game. No, I don't think so. I mean, maybe. <laughs> yes, you are. Are you not going to dock the suit? I just want to see if I missed anything back here. Yeah, um, your fucking manners. <laughs> they're sleeping. <laughs> it's not like they're waiting for me impatiently. Man, look at that. We are going to be going down into the valley. That is so cool. Oh. Oh yeah, they're hurt. Oh, so they're not sleeping then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a hint that I need yeah. to come prepared, but prepared with what? They mentioned the Senpao Temple Bell? I what is that? Have I seen that? That's not the demon bell. Surely. No, it's just the temple that they come from. Oh. I I don't know how to prepare. I think maybe it's just saying that like, hey, this is kind of a higher tier area. Oh, right, I have um, two skill points. I can get actually three different things. Let's take a look at them. So one of them, three different things that I care about. One of them I don't care about, which is this vault over. Mid-air combat arts allows one to perform combat arts while in mid-air. Allows one to use combat arts after jumping to close with an enemy or immediately after jumping a sweep attack. That's three skill points. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I, did I embarrass you for all your for all your subscribers? They now know that you don't know the difference between three and two. Hmm. I know the difference between Coxie and Nelia. Throw back to all the times that Marsh didn't know the difference between one and seven. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fang and Blade. Um, oh, oh, this is a... Mm, well, it's in a totally different spot, but this seems related to... Where was it? Yeah, yeah, it's right after, actually. Chasing Slice. This one allows you to do an attack right after doing a prosthetic thing, and this one allows you to do two things simultaneously. Allows one to attack with the tool and sword simultaneously, or it provides a follow-up attack for the tool. For the tool? So, if you want to do a follow-up attack, it actually does it with the tool and not with your main weapon? It sounds like it. And if you do them at the same time, well, it does both, of course. Works with the loaded axe and the loaded spear. That sounds real good. And then light is this other one. Um, oh, that's the one that recovers posture upon executing a successful death blow, which is eh, yeah. decent, but I'm not super into it. Let's do Fang and Blade. Yeah, so do these enemies respawn? Yes. yes. I guess I could try to practice them here. Um, what the? When you rest, they wake back up? Uh, what's done in <laughs> They get to die again and again. That's Terrible. Sad. Uh, so if I just do the attack, do I also attack normally? No, so I, do I have to press both? Hmm. I, wait, was this one of the weapons that does it or not? It might not have been. I think it was, though. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, I know the loaded axe definitely was. Hmm. I should have looked at the panel that tells you how to use it. So there's the follow-up. Okay, I need to look at the panel that tells me how to use it. <laughs> Okay, so what it says is a little bit confusing. Right button to do fang and blade, attack with the tool and sword simultaneously, or one after the other. It doesn't say how to do one or the other. Huh. It only says to use it after using certain prosthetic tools, but then also says it works simultaneously? Yeah. I don't... That doesn't make any sense, but maybe it just depends on which one you use. Because it says for the loaded axe, you have to do it after the initial strike. But for the loaded spear, you have to do it after dragging. Which I think is why I wasn't working before. Because I wasn't dragging. Oh, yeah. You might even need an enemy to drag. I'm not sure. Um, I imagine so. Do me to drink that? Yeah, let's try it. Yeah, can I drag? Ah, you can actually do the dragging motion. Hmm. So, I'm going to do drag and then attack. Ah, yeah did a very quick slice, and since drag is supposed to bring him near, it should actually hit them pretty easily. Drag, and then whoosh. Okay. And then loaded axe after initial strike. So, and then do it. Oh! That is a follow-up with the axe. Oh. That is cool. Oh, actually, not just the axe. It does a follow-up with the axe and your sword. You see, there's two trails. Powerful. Oh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I guess when it says simultaneously, it just means it's going to be an after attack, but it might either involve the prosthetic tool at the same time as the main sword, or in the case of this, it doesn't. Yeah. Just depends on which one. I was thinking that I maybe missed some places down on the ground around where all these uh, assassiny enemies are on the roofs, and I think she's right. I don't... I think I fell down here once. I don't know if I really explored it, though. Hmm. Also, I forgot to use my gourd seed that I found. Um, let's go here first. Oh, you can still see the battlefield down there where I fought. Let's see if I get it right. Gyobu? Yeah. 
Get up you. Get up you. Yeah, I did. I was down here once. I don't think there's anything in that area. Um, let's go use my cord C that I forgot about. Am I already up to seven? Damn. Heck yeah. I also want to check down here because. Uh. a lot of enemies. Yeah. You know what might be good? Is a flamethrower good at getting multiple enemies? I don't think so. So, how does the shinobi firecracker work against normal enemies? Let's try it. See, kind of stun him for a second. <laughs> Yeah. God, that's a fucking huge group. Yeah. I need to... Can I don't know. You, can you get a, a sneak job? Sneak I... attack on the dude that's right there? Do yeah. You, like, drop down to him as opposed to, like, jumping out? Ah. Hmm. Huh. That one is just... Explosive. Yeah. Well, I'm going to get my revive back. Can I ledge hang? Come on. There we go. Yeah. Gamer wife. Gamer wife. She does magic. She's a gamer wife. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck if you updated. Okay. I only got that one enemy, not the rest. Good. There's no way I can go down below without all the others seeing me, right? I think there is. Yeah. As I do, I just drop a roni. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Sorry, babies. Wait, I thought there was one of them down here. No. I think oh. last time just one, like, followed you down here. Oh. Or I think the dude came down when you came down here. Mm. The right one. Well, in that case, there's nothing down here. Okay. Well, good to know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Can you get over there? No way. No. Now that this person's well again, let's, uh... Hmm. I wonder if they'll say anything different. Senpai Temple in Mount Congo. A very special holy person lives in that place. They don't mean the headless demon, do they? <sighs> um, yeah, let's see if we can do anything new with him. If I use another one of these. Uh, this one? Hmm. <sighs> Thank you. Gotta be honest, I hope they stop giving me something other than sugar. <laughs> very mature, Marsh. Very mature. 
Let's all leave a hate comment for Marsh on this one. Okay, now that I've got a little bit over 500 coins... Let's buy the three-story pagoda memo. It is said a precious treasure was once held within the Harada estate pagoda. A threefold tower stood upon a precipice along a slope lined with bamboo groves. Seems the treasure is related to shinobi techniques. The truth of it escapes me, but they called it Blessed Mist. Hmm. So we've already been there, right? Yeah. But something involving a mist? And a shinobi technique? I... Blessed Mist. Um... Maybe it's like a... A secret wall? Could be. Oh, does this game have secret walls like Dark Souls? I don't know. I feel like I... I feel like I saw a comment on like one of the newer videos. Where you were playing at the Hirata Estate and they were like... Uh, the wall you were just jumping against is a secret wall or something like that. Intriguing. By the way, don't post spoilers like that, but intriguing. So that's four different things we could do. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Well, I'm not going to choose right now, then. Vote in the comments where you want us to go next. We will We will have to record the next episode before any of you have commented anything. But thank you for your input. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, I think we're going to end this episode here. So should I say we hope you've enjoyed so far? I hope you're all having a miserable time. Okay. I hope you've enjoyed so far. And uh, when we return, well, I don't know what we're going to do. There's, I counted about four discrete things we could do, so we'll figure it out next time. Hippa.